what's going on welcome back to the channel my name is Anna I'm a 40 year medical student studying in London and yeah it's quite early or well, uh, like not very early like eight eight o'clock I woke up earlier uh, to get some of those sunrise shots uh, but today is gonna be another study video which I haven't done for a while yeah I've got a few things I'm gonna take the camera with me to uni and you might be wondering why you're wearing a hoodie well it's all a bit of a mess once it's sorted We'll take this off. But before we start off today, some of you guys who are not medics might be interested in knowing what kind of fourth year of medicine looks like. So let me talk a bit about what that entails. Uh, if you're already a medic, you might not be interested, so maybe skip to later. So in fourth year, we do a lot of the specialty medicine stuff. So we do lots of specialty surgery, lots of like obs and gynae, psychiatry, neuro. Yeah, we do that through placements and a bit of lectures, mostly placement, like probably throughout the year. And then exams come up in July. And our exams are divided in two ways. So on one side you have like the written paper, which are just loads of multiple choice questions and you kind of get through them, um, yeah. Sometimes you get baffled when you try to do them, but all right. And then you have something called an OSCE. An OSCE is like, it's like an MMI, right? Like a multi-minute interview, lots of like cubicles, you go in and then you have to complete one task. Maybe you have to do an examination or you have to figure out what's wrong with like, to whatever, okay? Loads of those like stations. You need to pass both aspects in order to do well. The way you do well in the written paper is just bang out lots of sessions in the library, the way you pass the OSCE or multi-minute interview type of exam is through practicing with friends and other um, and other people. For this OSCE, right, it's not only your knowledge that's tested, but also the communication skills that you have, like the way you communicate information to the patients, the way um, you uh, make the patients feel, are they comfortable in your presence, do they feel like you know what you're talking about all of that stuff too. So that's what it looks like. So today, I'm doing a bit of OSCE, so hopefully I get to record some of that. But first, let me make use of this morning, but I'm working on a different project. I'm going to be editing another video. Let me start off by doing that, and then I'm going to go into uni. All right, so I just finished editing, uh, took a quick shower, quick munch as well, um, and now I think it's time to head off. But I just need to pick up some stuff. One of those things is, this dench book which we use for oskis so if we open this up right it's got loads of um, scenarios so let's let's get one open so like you're a junior doctor working in general practice and someone you've got a new patient da 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 and you've got a lump whatever and so this is useful for um, for the person who's going to be acting and so it gives them lots of information to go off from so you don't have to come up with everything on the spot you get it you can just focus on your acting skills uh, and also it has loads of information to kind of try and gather this is going to come with me laptop is going to come uh, it's time to head off i think <laughs> So right now it was about 12 p.m. My OSCE practice session was going to start at 5.30, so I had a couple of hours to prepare. In today's session, we were planning to go through some pediatric scenarios and specifically to do with issues around development of a child and what the causes could be for any problems around development and also just scenarios where a child might have like an epileptic fit or other types of fits um, and then figure out what the causes for that could be too. So I haven't done any pediatric placement yet. It's going to be later on in the year. So I'm not going to lie, I've slacked off on kind of covering the topic. Uh, so I started off by just trying to figure out how to approach the scenarios. So I looked through some notes and documents that I had just to get kind of help me get an overall view of the topic um, and also find out the differential diagnoses and the communication skills that's necessary to do kind of well um, in those kind of pediatric OSCEs. I then moved on to do some general reading around pediatric topics. Started off by doing some active reading, so no note making. It's a bit too late in the year for that. 
and instead I would just take some of the information from the notes and make them into flashcards on Quizlet uh, so I could just look back at them later on and practice with through Active Recall. To prepare for the specific OSCE structure that we're going to use today, I picked up a book called Focus History Taking. And if you look at the table of contents, it covers loads of different specialties from neuro to psychiatry to ophthalmology. And of course, the topic at hand today, which is pediatrics. For the developmental delay history, I moved to page 191. And there it shows the questions that you need to ask for the history of presenting complaints. So that's to do with what the overall issue that the patient is coming in for today specifically. And then you need to ask some general questions about birth and any past medical history and family history and all of that, which you're going to learn in med school if um, that's something you want to do. And obviously the way you ask these questions need to be in the context of what you think the problem might be. So that is called a differential diagnosis. So this book shows some of the possible causes for developmental delay so that's really helpful and also the specific kind of signs and symptoms that differentiate different causes from others so if you ask the questions that differentiate different causes then you can kind of figure out what the problem is for this person today all right so just finished prepping for the oski session that i've got uh about now which i'm running late for so i'm gonna go ahead there now there's one thing i want to show you guys before we go there and it's like the sunset is looking insane. That is just a madness still. It's, it looks incredible, man. But um, enough of admiring the sunset right now. Let's just go um, and get some more work done. right now it's 10 30 uh, the day is basically over i'm at home um, and i'm probably not going to do any more work i might start editing this video uh, but yeah it's been a very productive day overall um, yeah good day still did some oski did some preparations and that yeah i think that's it i'm gonna sign out like comment subscribe safe <laughs>